Hi, Queer Reporters, and welcome back to my channel. Love is Blind is the Netflix reality television cash cow, and they are making the legal moves to prove it. In a shocking turn of events, TMZ has just discovered that Netflix has decided to go ahead and make and file a bunch of trademarks for Love is Blind. The number one thing kind of jumping out, as you can see from this image, is wine. So the trademark that they just filed for is called Love is Wine. It seems as though they want to release their own brand of Love is Blind wine because a lot of people love to do the watch parties as we wait and see like who gets married, who's left at the altar, all those sorts of things. So they want you to have a good time by enjoying their branded wine as you drink it, which is quite interesting to me. I, I'm excited for that. Uh, we're going to get into the reason why I consider this to be quite shocking at the end of the day, right? Because normally trademarks are filed all the time for popular series and whatnot, but there is a little twist here that is quite interesting and shocking to me. And I think it's a, maybe that better word would be record breaking or like a first or something like that. But I, I, I want it to be a juicy sort of way to describe it, right? So not only are they doing love is wine, they also want to have cake molds, glassware, napkin holders, plates, tea infusers, flasks, and several types of drinking glasses. I believe I saw uh, salt kind of being thrown into the, the, the mix here as well. Um, they want to produce uh, spirits, cocktail mixes, cocktails. They even want to put out their branded bakery goods, snacks, frozen treats, pizza kits, chips, and salads. So like I said, salt was there as well. But listen, just to remind you guys, just because these are all the things that they've listed doesn't mean they're going to have love is blind branded like everything under the sun it's just that they want to kind of like hold space there so that they are the only people able to cash in on that it is their show their product at the end of the day so i definitely understand where they're coming from i think that of that big list of items obviously wine is going to happen i see them doing like cocktail kits i could totally see them doing the flasks and um, the glassware, particularly the golden goblets. Okay, you guys, because those are very much iconic and synonymous with the Netflix Love is Blind franchise. So why not really get in on that? I do want to point out though that, sorry, I keep looking over here because I'm having a flooding problem in my apartment. And so you hear it. Do you hear that? It sounds like a, a, a leaky sink or whatever. Um, so I'm keeping an ear out in case that uh, ceiling falls through. <laughs> so um, on Facebook and whatnot, because I, I am part of a couple of Love is Blind Facebook groups, you do see people kind of talking about finding their own golden Love is Blind goblets through Marshalls or Winners or different stores like that. So I think that now they kind of want to pull it back and get it in their court. They might be engraving them. Who knows, right? Love is blind or love is wine written on those golden kind of goblets and whatnot. So now let's get into why I'm saying that this is kind of shocking. This is record breaking. This is a first. So obviously Netflix being the big company that it is, is no stranger to filing trademarks, particularly for its smash hit shows. The reason why this is shocking and exciting and groundbreaking is because love is blind is going to be the first reality television show that Netflix files a trademark, product trademark for, right? So I'm on this website called secureyourtrademark.com, which lists out the various trademarks that Netflix already has. So obviously the logo is there and things like that, but let's get into the actual content. Stranger Things is a scripted television series for which they have trademark jewelry, accessories, clothing, stationery, magazines, backpacks, beverage wear, buttons, toys, audiobooks, right? Squid Game, another uh, scripted series. By the way, I don't know if you guys have the same problem as I do, but every time I think of Squid Game, I want to say Squid Games, right? Like, you know, the Olympic Games, the this games, um, the the games. I, I, I have a hard time remembering and just like sticking to the fact that it's only squid game but i digress so bath products did you notice that things kind of vary so when it comes to the love is blind trademark there you want to stick to like food and drink but when it came to these ones uh stranger things jewelry accessories clothing things like that so squid game uh i almost said games again 
They're adding bath products, which we didn't see with the previous thing. We're seeing nail care, skin care, which is so random because it's a game about like how people who are struggling to survive have to like compete in dangerous like games uh, for the pleasure of like the rich and ruling class. I don't know how that kind of corresponds to cosmetics, nail care, skin care, but I digress. We're going to see keychains, key fobs. Maybe it's based on the market because this is a Korean market and I know uh, primarily it's a Korean show. So, and I know that they're really into skincare, for example. So perhaps that is a reason they want to do restaurants and bar services, similar to how Mr. Beast has Beast Burger restaurants and stuff like that. That's quite interesting. Um, this is another technical trademark that they have. Queen's Gambit, scripted series. Bridgerton, scripted series. Uh, the logo, another technical thing. So there you guys go. Um, Love is Blind is going to be the first reality show that Netflix puts out a trademark for. So I just wanted to say shout out to the Love is Blind crew, the Love is Blind lovers like yourself and me who have been OGs in this, believing in the show, loving the show, passionate about it from the very beginning. This is quite exciting. Am I going to be buying any of it? No, because I'm cheap. Uh, I'm joking. Maybe something like really catches my eye, but don't forget you guys, I live in France. So like, it's not really that easy to buy things from overseas. I don't want to pay all the extra shipping fees, this, that, and the other. And sometimes it's not even available, right? Until much later for us over here. So don't really, you know, hold your breath if that's what you're doing for a recap or review of their branded love is wine products or anything like that. Um, but Keep an eye out if that's something that interests you. I think that could be fun. By the way, if you've ever hosted like a watch party or anything like that for Love is Blind, please do let me know. I know my friends back in Canada, where I'm from, uh, they love hosting Love is Blind parties for like the decision day at the wedding and stuff. So I, I always think it's a really cute and fun thing. Over here, it's not really that popular. I'm starting to get friends who watch Love is Blind, but it's still not like a huge thing. You know what I mean? But I digress. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. So for now, thank you so much for watching. And